So that's about debugging sing symbols again, um, stripping them out. So we're going to do this. It says it's optional, um, but it can, obviously, as you've seen before, make the system a lot smaller. Um, so this is a good idea to make a backup of the LFS system in its current state. Um, I've never had any problems running these commands before, so it's up to you whether you need to do that or not. Um, this bit here is for placing debugging symbols for selected libraries in separate files. Um, this information is needed for running, running regression tests that use Valgrind or Valgrind or GDB later in VLFS. So, um, I'll run these, but um, I wouldn't normally do this. As I don't use either of those packages, knowingly anyway. Okay, so for performance stripping, take special care to ensure that none of the binary instead are about to be stripped to running. So what we're doing is we're going to rerun the bash that's in the tools directory so we're not stripping the currently running shell. And we can now run the first strip. Let's just do a um, df-h and shows us that we're using just under five gigabytes of space at the moment so we can see how much each of these commands um, deletes from the, the disk, how much space we can save so let's run that command again so we've already lost 200 megabytes with that one command save 200 megabytes rather let's run the second one and that's another 100 there, so it's 300 megabytes approximately we've saved. And the last one. And it's jumped down to 3.6, so that's gone down a heck of a lot. We started with 4.9, uh, so it's 1.3 gigabytes of space we've saved. That's a, a significant amount, it's about a quarter or so. So cleaning up to remove any temporary files, the log out. Okay, can't log out because we're not in the login shell. So we'll exit. So we're back to our Debian login now. We're not in the truth anymore. Um, remember before I had this make flags, probably won't need it anymore apart from the kernel, so I won't even need to remember that, but we'll go in there just with this command. They've got a new command, it's slightly different. And it's because this doesn't include the tools directory as it says there. You see the tools directory is in the path, we don't need that anymore. In theory we should have a fully functioning system. Um, several static libraries are not suppressed early in the chapter in order to satisfy the regression tests in several packages. So we can remove those now, save a little bit more space. I'm going to copy these all in because they're not, there's no V. They're not going to report anything what they're doing. They'll only report an error if the error occurs. You can see there's nothing happened after each one. So that's all worked. And there's these lib tool archives to find and delete as well. So that's that.